Hi, I'm Joe Moss. I'm with JTM Food Group in Harrison, Ohio, and I have a food processing company primarily dealing in processed meat items. Okay, Joe, from an operations standpoint, um, when you are looking for ways of reducing costs, what are the keys to you? What are the things that you really look for? What, what is important? So the products that you, that Crown Plastic sells, the DuraSurf tape, uh, reduces friction on conveyor belts, and that's of great value. It will reduce energy, but I know in my business the energy reduction is, is not at all where the real cost savings is. Quite frankly, in my plant we have a, a million two a year of electric cost. Uh, if by chance the DuraSurf were to do a wonderful job and save $10,000 a year in electric, quite frankly, it just won't show up on my electric bill. And not that it's not important, and not that it's not a good thing, and not that it's not a dollar, but it's going to probably very, be very difficult to measure this energy reduction. Clearly, if the conveyor belts were to run with less friction, there's less energy and may show up on some reduced kilowatt hour usage. But the real benefit, the real dollar savings of having the reduce friction on conveyor belts is the reduction on the wear and tear of the equipment itself and specifically the motor and the gear drive. The Replacing the motor and the gear drive is terribly expensive. Uh, forget that the motor costs a few bucks. Uh, the labor to change out that motor costs a few bucks. Uh, but the downtime while that conveyor isn't running is astronomical numbers. Uh, and then you're assuming that when the motor burns up that you have the motor on your shelf uh, to replace it with. Well, unfortunately, what may happen in many people's manufacturing establishments, they go to the shelf to get the replacement motor. For whatever reason, the last one was used, wasn't replaced, whatever. Now we got to send someone downtown. And it, it could be hours to replace uh, this, this one specific part, this, this gear drive, whatever the case may be. Not to mention the belting itself. Um, that uh, requires a fair amount of time and effort to replace uh, uh, even without downtime. But with downtime, it's, uh, the cost is really going to show up in reduction in downtime and reduction in replacing components of the equipment, um, both in labor and in the uh, components themselves. And what percentage of your equipment on the floor is conveyor related? Oh, uh, so, you know, the amount of equipment on my floor that's conveyor related is probably 30 to 40 percent of what I have. But it's important to remember that it doesn't matter what percentage of your equipment is conveyor related. When you have a line that goes from machine A to machine B to machine C to machine D, uh, that may have conveyors in between of them. If any one component, these things are in series, so if any one component goes down, the entire line's down. These things do not run in parallel, they run in series. So every, the dumb old stupid little conveyor with that one dumb little motor on there, if it goes down, the entire multi-million dollar line is down, you are out of business until you get this dumb old one little thing fixed. So most manufacturing lines out there uh, involve a series of machines uh, all working together to produce a finished product, uh, meaning that any one of which uh, at any time has a breakdown, then the entire line's down. So keeping everything up and running is vital. And even that dumb little one stupid conveyor with that little fractional horsepower motor on it is a the same amount of importance as this stamping machine over here that's producing the primary part. And so, so in our manufacturing environment, the use of DuraSurf tape helps to re reduce the friction of, of conveyor lines as well as other uh, components and parts of, of the whole entire manufacturing operation. Quite frankly, we use DuraSurf tape sort of similar to duct tape. Uh, you know, it's kind of a, uh, another product that's out there that gets used fairly universally throughout the plant. Um, using it with a conveyor belt, uh, with a 
using it with a conveyor would help to reduce the drag of the belt, would help to reduce the wear and tear on the motor and the gear drive, would extend the life of the piece of equipment in capital cost, would reduce downtime, which is, again, the number that is just earth-shatteringly large. If you can do any of that, it's going to show up in spades on a, any income statement. Uh, clearly, it'll help to reduce energy costs that I don't want to uh, forget about, realizing, however, that that may not be the, 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 the real big dollar savings out of the whole deal. A reduction in, in downtime that you would like to think that if the motor were to burn up, that, hey, we just go back to the shelf, we, we stock a spare. Well, again, you go to this shelf, you look for that spare, it's not there for whatever reason. Uh, pretty soon you're sending someone downtown to pick up another motor. Now you're down for, you know, a couple of hours to replace a, to do a 20 minute replacement of a, of a motor. Uh, for a motor that actually costs a few bucks um, and, and it just generates a heck of a lot of downtime. The, certainly the, the biggest payoff of using DuraSurf tape is keeping your equipment running.